All right, rant number two. Let's roll out. Uh, good morning. Yeah, I just woke up. I had a dream last night. I know. No, I'm not doing the whole speech like that. But I had a dream last night that I had unfettered time before Congress. I know, unfettered, right? Yeah, I apparently watched way too much Trey Gowdy yesterday night. Um... That's his favorite word, unfettered. And that's my new that's that's my new uh, thing. You might hear John talking in the background, but that's because he playing uh, his uh, video game with a friend and they on the mic. But you know, I'm gonna take over here. But uh, yeah. So I, I I was mad. I mean, when ain't I mad, right? Especially on real with robos. But uh, I was mad. I was mad at the way the things are. Um, I was mad at all the hate. I was mad at all the discontent. I was mad. And I understand that it take a revelation and a revolution to change some things. And maybe that's what we're building up to, you know. People got mad back in the day and people thought they was crazy and all that. But then, hey, we broke our way from England and we made a new, we, we made a new country. We, we made it to our befittings. So I'm going to touch on a few topics that I touched on in front of Congress. Number one, I want y'all, both left and right, to understand this is not political. Okay? So I don't want you to say, oh, well, she's talking about the left there. Oh, she's talking about the right there. Uh, I'm not talking about neither. Because I really don't care. If you're left or right, I don't care if you're right or wrong. I don't care if you're freaking left for dead. That's what I don't care about. You see, I used to be big in the politics up until the point where people actually started threatening my life. And that's hard because I, I'm not like those political geniuses on, you know, the shows that we watch and everything like that. I, I'm not one of those political geniuses. But when I pay attention, I pay attention. And I come with facts. And that's, I guess, what people hated me for. Because, see, I'm not those big people that could influence millions. I'm that little person that could get into your brain singularly and make you change your mind and then you go and turn around and make somebody else change their mind then that then that and i guess that's what my threat was so i don't talk politics no more i don't do it but i was in front of congress and i chewed congress's face off yes i did because that's how i am i don't come with you know bs when I'm being serious, I come straight from the heart. And the fact of the matter is, one of the biggest topics was this kneeling for the American flag. I realize that they have their right to protest. All right? I I'm not arguing that. I realize that people have their right to hate things and think that it's not right and open their mouths and speak. I'm not arguing that. I don't think anyone should argue that. That's not the point here. If you look at the Constitution, people, it has a whole lot of sitting on the fence, okay? There's a whole lot of sitting on the fence in the Constitution. It says in the preamble that we have a right, an unalienable right to... Do what makes us happy. So if you're gay and you're happy, be gay and happy. If I'm straight and I'm happy, I'm going to be straight and happy. If you're transsexual and you're happy, go for it. If you're not, then don't be and go for it. You know what I mean? It's a whole lot of sitting on the fence on everything. If you black and you happy, be black and happy. If you black and proud, be black and proud. If you white and proud, be white and proud. It's a whole lot of sitting on the fence. 
And I think that's why this sh madness, because now I got to watch my mouth because my daughter watches these, so I got to watch my mouth, folks. But all this madness is popping up everywhere. It's because we forget that the basis of our country, the Constitution, people, is sitting on the fence. If you like guns, and that's what makes you happy, like guns and be happy. If you don't like guns, and you're not happy, well then don't like guns and be happy. Okay? That's what it is. If you want a knife instead of a gun, go buy a knife instead of a gun. If you want a whistle instead of a gun, go buy a whistle instead of a gun. But be happy with your decision. And be appreciative that Johnny, the next door neighbor, he may like a gun. And he's not happy with the whistle. And it's not within your rights, your unalienable rights of being happy to take that gun from Johnny because that gun is Johnny's choice of defense. It's his second amendment. While a whistle is yours, while a knife is yours, while a please don't stop, don't, don't do that, or I'm, I'm going to call the cops. Okay. That's your defense. That's your second amendment. You feel me now? Okay, and that's what I got angry about Congress is because Congress is starting to shit in between all of us. Okay, and they really are, both the right and the left. They all starting this madness. Okay, the left, Democrats in Congress, and liberals and progressives in Congress are saying, hey, you know what? You have a right not to have a gun, and... You have a right to say that nobody else has a right to have a gun. No, you don't. You don't. And the right is saying, you have a right to have a gun and everybody should have a gun. No, they shouldn't. What we have the right to do is to read the Second Amendment and decide for ourselves what our line of defense is going to be. And when we find the right line of defense and we're happy with it, boom. That's being American. Okay? A lot of people say, well, you know, uh, the Second Amendment, uh, well, other countries don't have guns and they fare well. Um, which ones? Which ones? I hear English people talking all the time, I wish we could have guns. I hear people from all over the world saying, I wish we had the Second Amendment. Because they government overrun them. And that's what the Second Amendment was made for. That nobody had the right to have absolute power over you. And you don't have the right to have absolute power over anybody else. But you don't think of that. You think of what you like and everybody should like it. This is in second grade, people. Then I'm going to speak on, I am going to speak on the liberal left right here because, you know, I read this really hateful post. And personally, not because I'm, I lean toward the right or I lean toward the left, because I lean to either side on so many issues, I ride the fence on a lot of issues. But I'm gonna speak on this, you know. It was so hateful, so full of hate. And then I watched a video last night and it just made it all clear to me. The populace of the left and the right are actually mimicking everything they hear. Since when have we lost our minds? Since when have we lost our brains? So if I say that the left isn't wrong and the right isn't wrong, will you mimic that too? 
well, no, Robo, you're nobody special. You're not the media. You're not this. You're not that. No, I'm not. But the fact of the matter is, is both y'all wrong. Y'all is wrong as two left shoes on a right foot. That's how wrong you are. You don't have the right to tell me what I like and what makes me happy. Just like I don't have the right to tell you what you like and what makes you happy. Now, while I may disagree with what makes you happy, and it is my right to speak on it, when did we become two-year-olds and we had to fight over everything? I don't like that purple ball you're using. We should use pink. Well, I don't like pink. I want to use blue. Well, I don't like blue. I want to use yellow. Are we adults or freaking two-year-olds? You see, Congress, the media, everybody is taking our brains and they're twisting them And they're using their flashy limelight to make us think what is right is wrong and what is wrong is right. And that's why people can't stand me. It's because I don't care what is right to you. I appreciate the fact that it's right to you. But I'm going to call you on it when it's wrong. Like when Maxine Waters stood up there and said, Oh, we should boycott. We should push back. We should do all this. We should do that and harass and, and mob and whatever. People that we don't like. What? And right as soon as she said that, post, just post after post after post. Yeah, we should do that. We should do that. No, we shouldn't. Because if you were out to supper and somebody did that to you, how would you feel? But you don't think that way. You want to look cool for Nancy down the street or Betty Lou down the street or Miss Sally down the way. It's not about being you anymore. It's about being a part of having an enemy. And folks, it never goes good when we pick sides and put each other as enemies. It never goes good. Never. Look at the Civil War. That didn't go well. That didn't go well at all. And then I turn around and I watch a video of this man. He's talking about, unless you've been there, you don't know what it's like. Okay, but he was talking about being a car salesman or whatever. And the first thing Maxine Water does, she jumps up and she says, I'm offended. Because I'm black and I'm a woman, I don't know what it's like. No. H have you ever sold a car? No? Then you don't fucking know what it's like. Sit down, shut up. That'd be like me saying, hey guys, you don't know what it's like to live with annoying fucking ass neighbors like I have. And unless you've had annoying fucking ass neighbors like I have, you don't know what it's like. There's no reason to be offended. And because he mentioned that the person that was selling the car wanted to get good deals for everybody, no matter what race, sex, anything they are, she touched in on that. Oh my God, it's because I'm a woman. It's because this. I, I, I. No, it's not. It's because you've never been there, motherfucker. It's easy. Part of my language. But I mean, that's the stupidest stuff I've ever heard. Huh. 
Like, why are you so offended? If wearing a pink hat makes you feel happy, please wear your pink hat. But don't expect me to wear one. Because number one, I don't like pink. Number two, I don't like those type of hats. And number three, I don't feel that it's appropriate to walk around with a body part on my head in front of children. And force my views onto them and warp them using their own minds to be what's in. Being different is always in. Being unique is always in. And that's what you guys need to start doing. Stop listening to these idiots up there in Washington. Stop listening to the news telling you, oh, do this, do that, do this, do that. Start listening to your heart. I mean, for years, I was a Democrat. And I agreed with a lot of conservatives. But then again, I agreed with a lot of lefties. My main point here, I stood up in front of Congress and I told them what we need is unity. We don't need a blue wave. We don't need a red wave. I mean, what the hell, blue and gray? Didn't we already pick colors before? How'd that work out for us? Huh? Races, haven't we been through that? We need to stop acting like everybody else, just to fit in and be ourselves. It's wrong to go along with people just because you want to fit in. You tell everybody to stand up for what they believe in, and you can't even do it yourselves. So no, this ain't a bash on the right, this ain't a bash on the left. <coughs> This is a bash on both of you and a bash on everyone concerned. Antifa, the KKK, the Black Panthers, all y'all sicken me. We are a country of being united, of accepting each other for who we are, of respecting each other's rights. And all you want to do is go back in time. You want to go back in time. First, it was a race thing. We handled that in the 50s and the 60s. Next, it's going to be a civil war. And then, a revolution. And maybe then, you'll get it in your minds. There, don't need, there doesn't need to be a red wave a blue wave. There needs to be a wildfire for unity. We need to touch base on what we, the people, care about the most. And we need to get it together. And we need to stop arguing like children. And we need to stop crying like babies. We need to remember who the frag we are. Shut up, I had to clean that up for Angel. Okay? We need to remember who we are. We're not a country of division. We've done that before. But maybe it will take a revolution. Maybe it will take killing each other's family members and friends to understand. When you forget history, you repeat it. When you listen to others and mock them and mimic their words, you might as well be a puppet. And all of you are puppets. The ones that don't fall for the okie doke are people like me.
I keep it real. And the reality is, we need to unite, not fight. We need to get it together and be one. Because if not, we're going to lose our identity, kill each other, and who knows? Maybe their dreams will come true and a socialist party will come in and attack us while we're attacking each other and take over. And then we won't be Americans no more. You choose. Right? Left? Red? Blue? Black? White? Or shall we be one? Because the flag has both red stripes and a blue field. And it's honored everywhere. Because it makes it beautiful. Your hate is what makes America ugly. So yes, we need to make America what it was. And we need to do it together. And Congress, and listening to Congress, and those yahoos on the media, ain't gonna do it. We need to listen to our hearts, where our patriotism lives, where our unity lives, where love lives. And we need to get our stuff together, guys. Because if not, I'm going to be that crazy one out in the middle of nowhere with my little area. And anybody that steps into it that ain't peaceful and loving and ain't about unity, you're going to get toe up. So if you really have to hate somebody because of what they believe in, stay away from me. Because you'll find out I'm not the enemy. And you don't want an enemy like me. Have a good day. That's Real with Robo.